What's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Sounders career where today we start this episode, eight games left to play in the regular season. So we're actually in a really, really good spot right now. We're four points clear of second place Portland with three games in hand. So, I mean, a couple of wins and we're looking at, we're talking about clinching a supporter shield here. And we even, even if we don't get the wins, I mean, even a couple of slip ups here and there, we're still looking okay. I mean, we're actually in a very good spot so we're just gonna look to continue the momentum today keep picking up wins against the teams we should be beating and just keep picking up points and keep rolling man we're in a good spot we're playing really well i'm confident we're tuning up for the playoffs right now that's really what we're doing we're tuning up for the playoffs so we're not gonna waste any time we're gonna jump right into this first match of the day we're at home to take on houston who currently sit in the fifth and final playoff spot in the Western Conference. The only change to our starting 11, Will Bruin for the injured Clint Dempsey. But, I mean, Will Bruin's been in scary good form lately. Hopefully he continues that in this one. All right, here we go. Kick off against Houston. And something I didn't mention last episode, I did say that Jordan Morris is not scoring many goals for us right now. But... He was getting a lot of assists. He actually leads the league in that stat category. He leads the league in assists, and it's not even close. He's actually having a fantastic season. I wish he would score more goals, but right now we'll, we'll settle for the assists. He's having a good season. Oh, there you go, Ozzy. Good tackle from Ozzy. And we got Jordan Morris. He's on sides. Come on, Jordan. Come on, Jordan. Jordan. Oh, he gets the... That's an own goal. Okay. It was going to be another Jordan Morris assist. We had Will Brew at far post. But the defender just heads it into his own goal. We'll take that. That's, that's fine. Kind of denies Jordan Morris another assist. But you know what? Every goal counts. Stay on him, boys. There you go. Oh, that ball. What a pass. Whew. Shot hits the outside of the post. That was a fantastic pass in the middle. Morris gives it up to Ozzy. Ozzy looking back for Morris. Morris to Roldan who shoots. Oh, that was, that was Ladero. I, I don't know why I thought that was Christian Roldan. But Ladero... Just fired that upper 90, and we are all over Houston early in this game. Man, our pressure early in games is just overwhelming for some teams. They just cannot handle it. The passing, though, by the way, another assist for Jordan Morris. He is that dude. Oh, my ref. Off the post. That was not a foul. Are you kidding me? Huh, get rid of that thing. Oh, my God. Please, you guys. Please, Stefan Fry. Oh my god. How did they not get at least a shot on target from that? Here we go. There's some space right here for Morris. And Morris finds a ball up the wing for Michaels, who cuts it back inside. Gives it in the middle. And Jordan Morris, God, for everything he's done so well this season, the kid just can't score goals. Oh god, now Houston's just giving the ball up in bad, bad spots. And Will Bruin is just through on goal. Houston have just, they have come. Wow. Will Bruin, really, my dude? That should have been 3-0. That should have been game right there. It's not even halftime yet. That should have been game over. Houston just did not come to play in this match. Oh, my God. Yo, Houston. Houston, you're just not awake in this game. They, I have not had an easier game this entire series than this one right here. How do you just... What are they doing? Oh, this is a good play from Houston. It's just kind of one man doing all the work. It's, oh, what is happening in this game? What was that goal? That took like four deflections. I don't even know. I don't even know what happened there. I have no idea. That shot ended up like coming in and hitting Stephen Fry in the hand. And he like power punched it into his own goal. I don't know what the heck's going on in this game. It's 3-1. 15 minutes left to play. We're still fully in control. What the hell just happened there? Oh, boys. This could be it here. Will Bruin. Charging through. It's Will Bruin, and he finishes this game. It's 4-1. Goals galore in the last couple of games being played on this series, man. Things, things are just opening up and working very well. Now he's just pushing numbers forward. Just simple passing plays, catching him open now. It's, it's really not really not that difficult. This has been a very, very easy game. Houston's just been awful in this one. All right, let's just go ahead and put this ball in the box. This game is over. We're just waiting on the final whistle. Chad Marshall tries to put one in late, but that is it. That is the final whistle. 4-1 is the final score. That was a complete destruction of Houston. They were... I can't even put into words how bad they were in that game. It was 
it was so easy to beat them. That was really disappointing from Houston. I was expecting much more. All right, so our next game is once again at home at CenturyLink Field, and we're taking on the LA Galaxy, who we are yet to face this series. We have not faced them one time yet, and our schedule is so, so strange. Out of our remaining seven games, we play LA twice, Colorado twice, and San Jose twice. And it's that's such a weird way to put the schedule together. I, I have no idea what's going on with that, but we are at home, but we have a full reserve lineup in there. We're playing two games a week right now for the next three weeks. It's going to be kind of difficult, but LA are in seventh place coming into this one. They're having a rough season. They're still in you know, within reach of a playoff spot, but they need to pick up some wins. Us, we're, we're cool, man. If we lose this game, it's not the end of the world. All right, here we go. Kickoff against LA. A big rivalry game here between these two teams, but this is just not the normal LA team. I mean, there's a lot of normal LA players in there, but this team is just not like a normal LA team, though. There's just It's not scary. Normally, LA is a scary, scary team to play. This team does not give me that vibe at all. Ooh, Ladero. What a move. And it's Zendejas. And that would be 1-0. It's just, I don't know how this got so easy. It was so bloody difficult about midway through the season when we were struggling. Now, I mean, four and a half minutes in, LA hasn't touched the ball. We're just rolling right now. Zendejas gets the first goal there. Ladero the assist. 1-0 early. Here we go, boys. What the heck did, what did Mansoura just do? Oh my goodness. Fernandez is in, and that's just an awful shot. I passed that ball to Victor Mansure in the midfield, and he just literally stood there and watched it roll by him. All right, LA are going high pressure right now. Usually, I'm the one that gives people problems doing that, and right now, it's 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 all LA. I, I can't get the ball out of my own half right now. Mansure feeds that ball forward for Gaiao. Come on, JCG. We need some pace in there from you. We got it. Gaiao back in the middle, and Olex... Olex, I think that shot was actually blocked, but that should have been 2-0 right there. He was really... You don't get much closer than that. Yeah, it was blocked. I think that was Robbie Rogers. Oh? Okay. Oh, uh oh, oh. Okay, LA are starting to pass the ball through me now, Dos Santos! Giovanni, how he missed that? And the left back, Romney, hits that into the next state. All right. LA on the corner. They've been pretty decent from corners. What a shot! Yo, what a shot. Oh, that's not actually out of play either. This is bad. Oh, that was a that was a dangerous tackle. Come on, boys. Lock it down. LA have actually been a pretty decent team so far in this one. They're pretty unlucky not to have at least an equalizer here. And that is the final whistle. That was a that was not an easy game. We got off to a really good start with that goal from Zendejas on our first possession. And after that, it was very, very even. LA woke up a little bit. Had quite a few good shots. I'm pretty sure Stephen Fry had to make more saves than Rowe did. So, yeah. LA actually came to play in this one. Just our defense was pretty good. We limited their opportunities. Had made him take some, some off-balance shots, which was really key. And Stephen Fry did the rest. We came out with a clean sheet and a 1-0 victory. Good performance from that defense. All right. So, our next two games are both on the road and both in Colorado. So, I'm actually going to sim both of these games. Colorado's quite a ways down in the standings. And we're looking pretty good atop the table right now. So I'm not, I'm not too worried about this. Win, lose, or draw, we're still going to be okay. So game number one, that's not a good start as Gashi gets them on the board. But the comeback win, Dempsey comes on as a substitute, scores a penalty, and wins us the game. And hey, Jordan Moore scored a goal. And for game number two, a couple of small tweaks to our lineup for fitness reasons. And we're right back at it once again. Could we get two wins from two in Colorado? That would be pretty darn impressive. A 1-1 draw for the second game in a row this Indejas has started. He's scored a goal. That's not too bad. I like to see that for my young wingers. All right, so I'm actually going to go ahead and end this one right here for today because we have now clinched the Supporter Shield in the number one spot in the Western Conference. Four games left to play. We're 12 points clear of Vancouver, who are in second place now. We, we've, we've clinched it. I mean, we went from third place about a month and a half ago to clinching the Supporter Shield with like four games left to play. That is quite a turnaround for this team. We haven't lost or drawn even, well, except for that last game that I just simulated, but we really haven't dropped many points 
for the last month and a half. It's been a drastic, drastic change for this team. Seems like everything has come together. Ever since we switched from the to the 4 one 2 one 2 it seemed everything has fallen in place. We played fantastic, fantastic team soccer. So I'm happy with where we're at. I'm happy with how things are going. And I'm confident heading into the playoffs. I think I'm going to simulate the rest of the regular season because honestly, we have nothing left to play for. I'm going to give some of the younger players a chance to play as well. Plus, before we get into the playoffs, we have the Domestic Cup Final, which we will take care of next episode. And that will be against Sporting Kansas City. A team that always plays us tough. So that should be a pretty good game. Despite them being in eighth place, I'm not going to underestimate them. I know they're a very, very quality team. So that's going to be it for this episode. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you do. And I'll see you when we come back for some more Sounders career. See ya.